Okay, last time we completed problems on maximum work. Today we are going to start the new point from chapter thermodynamics that is internal energy. Thermodynamics. Class 12. Internal energy. Internal energy is denoted by capital U. What is called internal energy? You know that every substance is associated with definite amount of energy and that definite amount of energy stored in that substance is called as internal energy. For example, NaCl, sodium chloride, NaCl, sodium chloride, this is the substance. In this substance, it has its own energy stored in it that is called as internal energy and this internal energy is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. So what is called internal energy? Every substance is associated with a definite amount of energy stored in it and that definite amount of energy stored in that substance is called its internal energy. In thermodynamics it is denoted by letter capital U. For example, in NaCl, sodium chloride, it is a substance. It has its own energy stored in it and this stored energy in it is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. Now, you know that in NaCl it carries Na plus ions and Cl minus ions. So, the electrostatic force of attraction between these oppositely charged ions creates some energy in it that is called as its kinetic energy. And this substance has its own mass that is called potential energy. So, uh, another example, for example, in carbon dioxide, you know that in carbon dioxide, CO2, this carbon oxygen double bond, that is this bond is called covalent bond. You know that these oxygen atoms are in motion and the energy possessed due to motion of this is called kinetic energy. And energy which is due to mass of that carbon dioxide that is called potential energy. So the energy stored due to this kinetic energy and potential energy is called its internal energy. Okay. Here it is important to know that internal energy of a system can increase or can decrease and this increase in internal energy is due to work done and heat transfer. Heat Suppose work is done on the system, its internal energy increases. Suppose work is done by the system, then its internal energy decreases. Similarly, this system can exchange heat with surrounding. If heat is given to the surrounding, its internal energy decreases. If heat is supplied, uh, by the surrounding to the system, then also its internal energy increases. 
it is similar to you know that it is similar to bank for example this is the bank bank it is called system system and you know that money it is its reserve that is called its internal energy internal energy so you know that when money is added in your account then internal energy increases when money is withdrawn from the bank its internal energy decreases i like this we can take some examples as like this for example here one more important point about internal energy is that it is highly difficult to find out the exact value of internal energy but change in internal energy can be found out like as like this delta u is equal to u2 minus u1 actually the internal it is difficult to find out the exact value of internal energy but change in internal energy delta u can be find out delta u is equal to u2 minus u1 by using this formula and in thermodynamics uh, it is fortunately in thermodynamics we are in need to find out the delta u and there is no need to find out the exact value of internal energy and change in internal energy delta u can be find out by using the equation delta u is equal to u2 minus u1 now we will take few examples how the internal energy of the system changes for this take one example as like this that is first example if 20 kJ of work if 20 kJ of work if 20 kJ of work is done on the system is done on the system on the system then its internal energy then its internal energy increases energy increases so change in internal energy is given by the equation delta u is equal to plus 20 kJ so if 20 kJ of work is done on the system then its internal energy is added its internal energy is added that means is added in the system that means it increases and the value of change in internal energy delta u is equal to plus 20 kJ that is the first example another example that is if 10 kJ of heat is supplied if 10 kJ of heat is supplied to the system to the system by heating supply to the system to the system by heating by heating then its internal energy increases is given as like this delta u is equal to plus 10 kJ one more different example that is 20 kil 25 kJ of work 
another example if 25 kilo joule of work if 20 kilo joule of work work is done on the system work is done on the system on the system and 15 kilo joule of heat is released heat is released released then what will be the value of delta u here you know that if 20 kilo joule of work is done on the system means it is added to its internal energy and 15 kilo joule of heat is released then plus 25 and minus 15 that will becomes plus 10 kilo joule delta u is equal to plus 10 kilo joule so here it is important to know that delta u is always denoted by sign whether it is positive or negative here we can't write only 10 kilo joule but we write plus 10 kilo joule because change in internal energy always denoted by positive or negative sign if it is it carry positive sign then we can't write only plus 10 kilo joule we can't write only 10 kilo joule but we want to write plus 10 kilo joule now after having idea about internal energy we want to start a new point this chapter that is first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics thermodynamics so another point of this chapter thermodynamics of internal energy is first law of thermodynamics what is what are the statements of first law of thermodynamics but before that it is important to note that this law is called as law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy conservation of energy this law is also called as law of, conser law of conservation of energy what is called conservation of energy that means energy can neither be created nor be destroyed that means that is called as conservation of energy so what are the different statements of first law of thermodynamics first important statement of first law of thermodynamics is as like this that is energy of the universe remains constant first statement is that energy of universe universe remains constant remains constant energy of universe remains constant means energy of universe always remains constant that means energy can neither be created or nor be destroyed universe means whole energy of the universe remains constant that is first law of thermodynamics that's why it is called as law of conservation of energy second statement is as like this that is total internal energy of an isolated system is constant total internal energy internal energy of an isolated system of an isolated system is constant isolated system is constant so you know that what is called isolated system you know that there are different types of system open system closed system and isolated system last time we studied all these 
systems, open system, closed system and isolated system. First of all, isolated system means what? So here, isolated system means, suppose this is thermos plus, thermos plus, here it has insulation, insulation. This is insulation, insulation. This is called thermos plus, thermos plus. Here, suppose there is a hot tea in this thermos plus. So, in isolated system, there is no exchange of heat between system and surrounding. There is no exchange of heat between system and surrounding. Means, you know that when we keep hot tea thermos plus, it remains hot for a long time. What is the reason behind it? Because the energy of the system in the form of heat is not given to the surrounding or heat from surrounding does not enter into the system. That means, you know that in thermodynamics, internal energy is denoted by U and delta U means change in internal energy. As heat does not exchange between system and surrounding, delta U is equal to zero. That's why second law of thermodynamics is like this. Total internal energy of an isolated system is constant. That is the second law of thermodynamics. Sorry, this is the second statement of first law of thermodynamics. First statement just now we completed, energy of the universe remains constant. Second statement of first law of thermodynamics is, total internal energy of an isolated system is constant. And third statement is, energy is neither created nor destroyed. Third statement of first law of thermodynamics is energy is neither created energy is neither created neither created nor destroyed nor destroyed energy is neither created nor destroyed that is the third statement of first law of thermodynamics but energy is neither created nor destroyed but it can be converted, it can be converted from one form to another form, converted from one form to another form, one form to another form. So these are the three different statements of first law of thermodynamics. First statement we completed, energy of the universe remains constant. Second statement is total internal energy of an isolated system is constant. Third statement is energy is neither created nor destroyed but it can be converted from one form to another form. You know that for example in a dry cell, dry cell, in dry cell energy is stored in the form of chemical energy energy. That means this energy, chemical energy is converted into electrical energy, can be converted into electrical energy. So, energy is neither created nor destroyed, but it can be converted from one form to another form. That is the third statement. Remember well, all these three statements have same meaning. First statement, Energy of the universe remains constant. Second statement, total internal energy of an isolated system is constant. Third, energy is neither created nor destroyed, but it can be converted from one form to another form. All these three statements have same meaning. That is about the first law of thermodynamics. Now, what is the mathematical equation of first law of thermodynamics? We want to know. Next point.
मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स थर्मोडायनामिक्स सो डेल्टा यू इज इक्वल टू क्यू प्लस डब्ल्यू That is the mathematical equation of first law of thermodynamics. What is called delta U? Change in internal energy. Q stands for heat and W stands for work. So change in internal energy is the sum of internal energy plus work done. That is the mathematical equation of first law of thermodynamics. If these changes are very small. Then we can write delta U is equal to Q plus W. Delta U is equal to Q plus, or uh, we can also write as like this: d Q plus d W as like this. If this change is very small, then this equation can be write, written as like this: delta U is equal to d Q plus d W. Now. We can apply this equation for various processes in thermodynamics. So next point is, next point is, first law of thermodynamics for various processes we will see later on.